Show. Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Henda, barimi ni. What's going on, everybody? How are you guys? Hello. Yeah, I'm asking you guys. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, we are leaving. <laughs> what day is it even? I know I'm there's braces. nine. I know there's nine days left. Uh, what day is it? It's, it's thirteen. Thirteen, huh? if you do mathematics. How's day thirteen going for you guys? Oh shit! I just broke my headphones. My um, bad. For me. Hmm. I snap! I just broke my headphones. My bad. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah. How's what going? Day thirteen. Mm. It's all right. It's a day. Are you out of smokes yet? No, I just finished one. Now I've got like two boxes in the house. And you, ghost lady, how's day thirteen for you? I'm just tired. I'm tired of being at home. I never thought I'd say that, but I'm tired. <laughs> And you know the, I'm the, tired of there's no options. There's a huge chance they're going to extend the lockdown. I'm hearing that. I just can't handle that information right now. They should. Why do you think they should? Because it's, it's the right thing to do. The right We're not thing out of the do? woods yet. Yeah, we're not out of the woods yet. Mm-hmm. Our numbers are still climbing. Uh, our death records are going high as well. It might be 13, but one life lost is one life too many. Yeah. And if they continue, how do you think they're going to do it? They're going to let us out like a bunch of sheep. Like, go out. It's just we're going to regress. So... We flattening, but if we open up, then we're just gonna go up again, and then it's gonna be going back to square one type of thing. Yeah. So yeah, just extend it. I mean, Wuhan only opened like today or yesterday after like seventy six days. Mm. Botswana mm. with five people have closed for a month. I and think in all of this, for, my, for me, it's just that I feel, I'm feeling like I was never prepared properly. I don't think the world was prepared. Uh, we're part of the world and it shouldn't make us any different. This is no joke. It's, it's a real thing. So there are some liberties that we have to sacrifice in order for you to be able to see 2030 for instance but if we're going to carry on like it's normal then we're just doing it to our detriment yeah true i'm just yeah ghost <laughs> lady sounds like you already have a heart attack <laughs> i know I, I just i need things to help me function so and these she things are at the shops you know there are things and it's like oh i wish i could, I, I wish i'd gotten that i wish i'd bought this Oof. what are you talking like, about I'm feeling alcohol. Stuck. more than just alcohol for hobbies you know now i'm thinking i should have like started knitting you know or crochet now what do i need the wool the wool is closed <laughs> I should have bought a sewing machine. Then I could have, probably I would be just making clothes. It's all these things that are now like, uh, if, I, if I prepared just properly and had more time, then I would be functioning way better in the house. You can learn how because to... I'm running out of things to do. You can learn how to code again. To code? Mm, and make websites. No, I can do that already. I just don't want to do it. What do you guys think about the alcohol situation? Because I feel like it's going to escalate. The more and more they, they 
deny us alcohol, people are going to start losing their minds. It's fine. It's a, it's a law. There's, there's, there's a lot of liberties. There's people who go to gym are probably feeling the same way on some, like, the more and more they don't let us go to gym, the more we're going to lose our minds. It's just little sacrifices for something for a better tomorrow. Just let it go. Accept. But I don't like the way um, this, uh, who's this now, is just how he addresses it and talks to people, you know? It's, it's just so belittling and it just makes, it's like he's a father of the nation and he's just reprimanding all his children. Like, why? Because my thing is, Len, it's easy to say what you're saying when, when uh, uh, it's a minority because the majority of people want alcohol, chief. So now when it's a majority, it becomes very tricky. It's, see, now we're going to people's favorite pastimes. It's not a need. You won't die without alcohol. Uh, it's little liberties. I want to what? I want to go to my favorite restaurant, but I can't. It's also a hobby. It's also a little thing. But there's a bigger picture to the whole thing. So it's a small sacrifice to make. You know what I keep I'm hearing? I'm not going to be like say, Janet Jackson. <laughs> what did Janet Jackson do? Yeah, what did no, Janet she Jackson said, do? She, she said Mandela, she tweeted that Mandela was in jail for 27 years. We can take a couple of days. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. So I've been hearing a lot of people saying that uh, after this lockdown, I can't wait to do one, two, three. After this lockdown, it's back to business, blah, blah, blah. Do you think things will be the same after the lockdown? Yeah. I know I'm going to avoid people. Uh, I think I'm going to practice social distancing from time. Because it's not like the virus is a hurricane that comes and goes. It's a virus, it stays in one person. And come end of lockdown, the last person to, or the last batch of people to contract it will probably still have it. And depending on how it's handled, it, 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 an epidemic does not go away in a month. There are rippling effects and we're going into winter. And are you going to go to a shopping mall the same way? Are you still going to look at people the same way when they cough type of thing? When you start getting a flu, are you going to look at it as a normal flu? So it's, I think our psyches are a bit, our psyches are turned as a world. We'll, we'll, we'll probably start gradually going back to normal Econom economically and, and sociologically as well. we'll probably only we start going to normal in Jan, because I don't even think December is going to be December as we know it. December is probably going to be a month that replaces all of April because we lost out on a whole month or we're going to be losing out on a whole month. So if you're planning a December holiday, good luck. For me, I feel like the world what? as you know it will never be the same ever again. We must just forget. We're going into another new world order, for lack of a better word, but shit is never going to be the same. Three things that you think are going to change? For example, like when I look at events, right? I think the, 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 the peak of festivals has come to an end after this epidemic. We're not going to be seeing festivals for maybe like, I don't know, maybe two, three years. Um, just by the pure nature of this pandemic, you know? Like large gatherings, we're not going to see those for a very long time. And even traveling, like countries now are going to be more strict about who they allow in their countries. Fair, fair game. But on the same note, uh, speaking about mass gatherings, we look at sports. It's one of the biggest contributors of mass gatherings. Are you saying that is also going to change? Uh, sports, not entirely, but I think the way it's been run might change. Um, because right now they're seeing flames in terms of money-wise, because it's such a big business. Uh, but there's a lot of money being lost at the same time right now with, uh, with, uh, with the lockdown. Because, you know, like I was saying the other time, uh, 
football clubs that have to pay and rely on ticket sales aren't getting that money, you know? And then the it's big, the world and, the big and the big corporations that run football don't want to depart with the millions they've been making from football, you know? So I think financially, it's going to have a huge impact on football, but mass gatherings and going to stadiums, I think that will still, still happen. Maybe on a lighter scale. I just think... Yeah, gatherings just, for me, I don't feel like gatherings will change. I just think once we get the, um, the clear and saying, okay, we can work, guys, you can go back to like, like and go back to normal, then gatherings will, 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 because it's a big money maker at the end of the day. If you look at stadiums, if they are uh, whatever, 100 or 50,000 seaters, now are we going to say only 100 tickets are going to be sold? So but the thing is, things, let's say, let's say, for example, change. Ghost Lady, if we are hosting a podcast party, a huge festival, yeah. right? And we are expecting yeah. 10,000 people. How can you guarantee? Because yeah. when you host an event that big, you have to go through jock and stuff like that, safety and whatnot. So how can you guarantee that all those 10,000 people, none of them will have corona? There's no guarantee. That's why I'm saying they're going to take more precautions with mass gatherings. So festivals, as we know it, are going to take a very long time to get back to the level. There will be gatherings. There will be like small gatherings, maybe clubs that can host 300, 500 Church. people. Churches and whatever. But like festivals, as in like, what's the last big festival, you know? More global citizens. More That's Coachella type. Yeah, Coachella type. That's not going to happen in, in the near future. What's that one in free states that happens? The, uh, what is it? Makufe, yeah. Hmm. Those ones, ah, you can forget. Durban July, you can forget. And now what's that one with people who wear curtains and chains? <laughs> 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 Which one is that? The one can you use Afropunk. Yes, that one. Afropunk. Are you a punk? <laughs> Hey, hey, ghost lady, no, you... but I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you're saying you continue. Mm -hmm. No, I just feel like the pharmaceutical industry is the one that's going to like blow up from all of this because I think they're going to probably start selling drugs that will obviously it's this is the time when it's all about you know take something in order to avoid this. So yeah, which will still encourage I, for people. Let's say for let's say for a festival, if you're told this medication will help you not contract anything then. So a festival can, can continue as long as I've got this medication. Mm. But they have to find a vaccine first. Until a vaccine is found, it means this thing will jump from human to human to human to human to human to human. To human. Like, like flu, for instance. Yes, we managed to find a way to live with it, but at some point, flu it was the was biggest, like, the biggest pandemic, yeah. Because flu is also a virus. Uh, I don't think it comes from the corona yeah. strain, though, but it's also a virus. HIV also, at some point, yes, it's sexually transmitted, but at some point, people looked at it on some, yo, look at Ebola in uh, Central Africa. Um, it, 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 until they had the last case, they were still battling hectic with Ebola. Remember SARS as well. So if yeah. you came from certain parts of the world, certain parts of Africa especially, and that are, what do you call it? Something center? Malaria um, even. Malaria is another one. Yes. So it's, it, will, it will take us a while to, go, to get back to, to normality. I mean, a lot of people are going to lose jobs. That's the one thing that is very, very, it's, 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 it's sad. And speaking um, about losing jobs, did you see gonna... uh, Tana Tabudi's thread about why she left Pakistan? I For did. 200. <laughs> Gazala, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, wait, let, let me read the thread for those who don't know about it. Okay, here we go. It's quite long, so bear with me. Uh, context first, 5FM had acting program and station manager for a couple of months. They finally appointed J.D. Mostet and Sianda Fikelepi, a station and program manager, respectively. On Friday, the 28th of Feb, I had a meeting with the program manager who let me know that the show was renewed as part of uh, our annual negotiations. I then tried to negotiate a raise of 200 an hour 
At this point, he agreed for me to take the two weeks leave to shoot housekeepers. Fast forward the following Monday, I hear that the Tabuti drive will no longer be as it doesn't fit into the two five-year plan of the ACBC. This info I hear from the colleagues or people on my show. At this point, I hear that the replacement of the show has already been noted, uh, notified, and so had my current teammates. Note, I was the last to find out my very own show no longer existed. Fast forward, program manager finally sits me down on the following Tuesday to tell me that the show doesn't exist. Plot twist, I then hear that the powers that were told that I demanded a 20% increase and six weeks leave. I, to this day, am not privy of why the show was given and days later taken from me without notice. I believe I'm not the first, neither will I be the last to experience this by the ACBC. I was offered, wait for it, Sundays, 4 to 7 a.m. Evan! <laughs> 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 what a slap in the face. I've plowed many hours into the work that I do and found this as an insult after 11 years on radio. I then proceeded to resign. The current lineup at 5M is not a representation of the diverse country that we live in. And it goes on and on. But basically, you get the gist of it, no? Yes, yes, yes. What did you think, Ghost Lady? The last part about it being not diverse enough. It's a white station, you know. How black it's not people... meant to be. It's not meant to be. It's meant to be a huge station. But predominantly, predominantly white, right? No, whatever the urban. Of, yeah. Urban. Uh, urban, yes. It's meant to be like white oh, them, okay. but nationally. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. I never I never I got that idea from 5FM, okay? Mm. But what do you think of the thread? No, no, it's unfair. Like being from, from having a, a, a drive show and now Sunday, like a Sunday crazy. Crazy. <laughs> She's like, you, how? Uh, 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 that's sad. That was just... So I, I, I totally got her. No, and plus for the for the fact that the, no one actually even spoke to her in advance, and she has to hear this from her colleagues, I, that's not nice. And and you like Giga? Um, I hear where she feels the 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 disservice or the dis what do you call it? The unfairness came from, but what I feel is a bit weird, and a lot of people do it is when when she got hired she didn't do a thread on why she got hired yep now that she's leaving she's doing a thread on why she's leaving which i feel is it's 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 unprofessional and it's because she's still young in the game yes 11 years is a long time but she's still young in the game and I feel it could have been held a better way. She could have just yeah. said, I'm leaving 5FM to pursue other careers and just leave it at that. Yeah. No need to drag other people because you don't know where you're going to end up and who it is that you drag that might also be in power where you end up in the future. Yeah, that's true. Case in point, you're pushing uh, that thing off now. People must always keep quiet and not talk. Ah. No, no, but you kept quiet when you got hired. Why didn't you send us a thread on yeah, why you got hired? Yeah, but maybe everything was to her advantage at that point, you know? So it was like, hey, everything speaks for itself. I got a drive, um, like an afternoon drive show. So it's, it's, it's basically, I'm winning, you know? Also, when you but win. Now, but I'm just saying, when everything is happening to your advantage, and it's obviously seen, so it's like, I don't need to, there's no need to break it down. Maybe at that point, she just said, thank God for the blessings and... It was evident. Oh, okay. You know, if maybe she wrote that as a tweet, I don't know, whenever she started. So it was evident. But now when things turn around, I guess it's the same way now, just in reverse. But like, let me break it down to you guys so you know what is, what is um, up. Can nah, I ask you a question? No, nah, ghost lady. Can I, ask, can I ask a question? Okay. What was Fresh's thread after he left Metro? And we're talking about a 20 year, 30 okay. year veteran of the game. Mm -hmm. He was also done a disservice, by the way. Let me tell you something, Nick Ghost Lady, as someone who's been fired okay. a couple of times. Perfect. <laughs> From I the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 <it's> <laughs> 
it, it comes with the territory, unfortunately. In our industry, everybody knows when you get into it, people get fired. And whenever you get fired, no one's ever going to be like, oh, it's, it's not a nice feeling to be fired, you know? I don't know anyone who's mm. been fired, whether in my industry or not, who's been like, hey, I just got fired, you know? You always feel shit, it bursts your ego, and you hate the people that fire you and whatever. And it's very... Yeah. It's, it's no secret that the way in which things go about like the, how the process of you getting fired, it's never fair. You know, it's always like okay. sometimes, sometimes you don't even know that you, it's your last show. We, we've got that joke at YFM where when you get fired at Y, you're the last person to know in the building when you walk in or it's your last show, you know? So things like that happen. Oh. But the moment you start taking it to social media, for me, I feel like then you want a pity party because if you felt like you were treated wrong and you had done a disservice, did the proper channels that you can take. You can take them to the CCMA and it can be handled in court. There's no need to be tweeting a thread because what does the thread do? Okay. You understand? And then oh, and another okay. thing is... For two likes. Yeah, it's just for likes. And another thing is that it's, it's dangerous because our industry is so small. There's only so many stations you can work at. So the moment you get fired and you start trash talking your employers, um, first of all, it means you can't go back to that building. And another, uh, another thing is that other employers are watching. Like, for example, when I got fired at Y the first time, uh, I never trash talked them. I never said anything in the mm-hmm. media. I never said anything bad, which is why I was able to go back to, to YFM again for the second why? time. <laughs> and even with 947, ever since I've been fired or resigned or let go, or whatever the case may be, I've never trash talked them. I've never said anything back because with mm. this industry, you never know. It can change. Next year, they might want me back. But if I've burnt those bridges, then I'm fucked. All right. That's basically what I was talking. That's, 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 the, that's the narrative I was speaking to because it's not just because it's radio, it's television. It, it doesn't make it any less of a working environment than working at an office. If you work at an office and you're going to do a thread about your employer or you're going to wild on social media, your, your prospective employer is also watching because you get checked out. You get vetted on whatever you do on social media. They check all the rubbish that you tweet. So if that's what you are about, then you're literally putting a bullseye on your back. Yeah. And first thing they're going to ask is if I'm a programs manager and I'm thinking, oh, this person... So if I hire her, there's a potential of a blowback. Like, nah, B, it's fine. I'd rather go the safe route. And it makes it worse because a lot of the program managers now are mm. not the ones who will take mm-hmm. a chance. Mm-hmm. They want to go the safe route. Yep. And if you seem like you are who is uh, a person who's just like all about shooting off the hip, then you become a problem child. You yep. become... And the thing like, is, just to add on to what you you're saying, you. and just to add to what, you, what, you, what you're saying, ne? whenever there's a change of guard at a station, especially like from one program manager to another, the other program manager comes with their own ideas. And unfortunately, they go through this phase where they have a power trip, you know, and, they have, and they're, they're going to be casualties. So if you, are mm. on the, if you are not on the good side of them and you're on the bad side, Unfortunately, you're going to suffer those consequences. Because I remember at 947, I was there for six years. Né? Um, and they changed the program manager. Because when I was there, Amy Rusuki was our program manager. And then she left. She's in the BBC doing something. I don't know. Whatever. And then there's a new program manager that came. And I have a feeling that he didn't like me. Because they sold me this whole speech that the station is going a different direction. Meanwhile, I was the only person that got fired. <laughs> You You get what I'm saying? And I was there for six years. I I, I was doing my shit. All of the the whole time I was part of the plan. And then all of a sudden, this guy comes, this new programs manager. I guess he didn't like me. And, you know, he wanted to let go of me. And it happens. You know, when there's change of God, things like that, you must factor in as well. Uh, And like uh, she said uh, on her, like she said on her thread, like the station said, they have different plans for the next two, three, five years. It's, we don't see you in our plans, basically. It's, yeah. Yeah, again, shit. It's a case of, <laughs> it's a case of 
whoever it is that comes in is like, okay, cool. This is who I want to deal with for the purpose of, they've got their reasons. And just take it up the chin and then you are talented. You can do, you know what you, you know what your value, what your worth is. And just, just, just stick with that. And yeah, but go she'll out bounce there back, man. and do housekeepers. She, but she actually uh, hit me up. Uh, she wanted to, to find out what equipment I use to do the podcast. So I think she's going to start her own podcast. It should be great, man. I think she should. It's a booty podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? That's like the fifth time you tell us this story. But anyway. Is it? Yeah. We know it. No, I think it's the ones I told you guys, but we didn't upload the video. So I don't think the chillers know that story. <laughs> Oh, they do. Oh, okay. Uh, either way, I said it again. Yeah. There, there's so much footage that you have there that we don't know which goes up or doesn't go up. So we never show sure which is which. <laughs> there's one episode I want to load if Lane gives me the go ahead. The one where you got, you got pooped drunk. <laughs> we, we, we've been <laughs> recording. <laughs> no, you just kicked me to the side. <laughs> No, I but started social important. distancing. <laughs> oh, that's when you started social distancing. <laughs> yes. If you give me the go ahead, my nigga. Does. Oh, man. <laughs> I was social distancing. That's all I was doing. <laughs> oh, no. That episode no, but was we, we, did, we, 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 we re-recorded, though. re 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 <laughs> It's lack of alcohol, Jim. She's struggling. <laughs> <laughs> we re-recorded. And then in terms of there TV, we go. in terms of TV, uh, have you still, um, have you not watched Tiger King yet, Len? Nah, it doesn't interest me. Oh, I'm you're watching the news. kidding me, bro. No, I I'm even just, I'm... my husband. He's actually currently watching it now. Like, he is so, like, watch it. I watch okay. CNN, BBC, Sky, ENCA, SABC, and Newsroom Africa. That's all the TV that I consume. I've been watching a lot of CNN. So they should guessing... turn that thing to Comedy Central. <laughs> Especially at mid... I love it at midnight when Trump is making speeches. Same here, same here. Yes. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, yes. Why I, that's why I enjoy watching it. It's like he's doing stand-up comedy, bro. <laughs> Every... Every night at midnight, because I think that's a six o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, every night at about eleven o'clock, I start watching CNN. What are the and last? I sleep guys, at about two, two okay, thirty. Uh, ah. No, no, he's taking it badly. Health eh? wise, though. No, no, but health wise, like, don't you see? As when he's just doing his speeches, like, he's tired, of sometimes, bro. like. No, he's tired, man. You can tell nah, he's he... got. You can tell he didn't sign up for this, and he's like, "What the fuck is going on?" Like, I he didn't sign up for this. It's I I, I understand. Ish, my MacBook battery is dying. I didn't realize. Oops. Okay, so tell me why don't you like Tiger King? I read bad reviews about it. What were the reviews? Uh, it's it's the reviews I read were just not enticing. Dude, please watch just the first five minutes. You will be locked in, trust me, from the first five minutes. Yeah. You see, the problem is when you hype things up, they end up disappointing you. We are not no. hyping anything and I think up. That you are hyping the Tiger King up, but it's fine. I'll no, try when are you just chance. like, you just like just going just... against the grain. That's all. I know you, Lynn, but I'm yeah. telling you, five no. minutes, within five no, minutes. No, but I'm... But I'm... But I'm watching Money Heist. What do you mean I like going against the grain? I'm watching Money Heist at the moment. Watch it for five minutes. I'm telling you, by the end of the show, you want a tattoo of the Tiger King. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, I, I, I don't know if I got one, though. <laughs> I'm really crazy. How's Money Heist? I'm on episode four. Baby, we're on four or five, ne? We're on four. Yeah, I'm on four. I'm still yeah, I'm also somewhere, one. I think I'm around five. Does it get better? For me? Where? Because uh, I'm on episode four, Ghost Lady, you're on five. Does it get better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it picks up. It, oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Which part is it? Okay, I need to also confirm and find out which part am I on. Oh, good. What, what part am, are we on on uh, uh, Money Heist? 
what episode are we on? And what do you think of Money Heist, like geeks? It's cool. Uh, I just hope it doesn't drag. It's cool. I'm still. I'm getting there. I'll. I'll let you know. So far, so good. What I just hate on? that. I just hate season two, episode one. Oh, you said season two. Oh shit! You just started it. Yeah, I just hate the dub. Oh. Though the English dub is annoying. It's honestly very annoying. I can't do dubs. Well, I watch it in Spanish, man. You can't watch it in in the English. It's weird. Yes, because I get it. When somebody speaks, I also sort of like read their lips. Mm. And their lips versus what is coming out is like. So oh, I watched then. the. I got a recommendation no, I for you. Watch it. I used to used to watch it in Spanish. And then someone just like laughed at me. My friends were like, yo, why do you, why do you just bother yourself so much? So I, then I went to go watch it in English. And I've been enjoying it ever since. It's fine. Len, it's I'm now I prefer reading the subtitles. I got a recommendation yes. for you. Yeah. For? For a movie. I know, I know you're going to like this one. Which one? The Gentleman. Guy Ritchie directed it. Oh, yes. I've got it. It's on my to-do list. Yeah, yeah. It's, dope. it's yeah, waiting. Like it's yeah, yeah. waiting. Yeah, it's no, waiting. That's... It's on my to-do list. Trust nah, me. that's your cup of tea. Mm. Oh, no. I, mm. I, saw, I, I saw the trailer, I think, in Jan. I think, if not December, somewhere there. And I was like, when I get time, I need to check this out. Oh, and then I checked out Bad Boys 3 as well. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. But it was nice. Did Ish. you enjoy it? Have you watched yeah, Pan- it was okay. Pandemic? Pandemic? No, no, no. I haven't seen that. I told you guys, I watched Pandemic earlier in the year, like January. And I even stopped because it was like, it freaked me out. I'm it was literally it was like out, preparing man. us for Corona. I'm corona out, man. I don't, can't watch anything corona-related. Even that contingent yeah. movie, whatever it's called, uh, The Sharp. Yeah. Uh, did I, I, I watched it and I fell asleep somewhere in the middle. I've clapped yeah. Tiber King. I've clapped Ozark. I'm going to clap Money Heist now. And then I just started The Crown. I just started The Crown. Oh, someone died, by the way, on Money Heist. I'm on that part. Oh, I, oh, I got you don't tell me. Ah, I just said spoiler. someone died. <laughs> Okay, no, sorry. <laughs> Who, the professor? Did he right, die? Right. <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> Bella Chow, Bella Chow. Bella Chow, Bella Chow. Bella Chow. Bella Chow. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, did you guys watch the, the manager's episode? Um, I haven't, still to do list. <laughs> and you, Ghost Lady? I'm, I'm halfway on part two. I'm halfway on part two. Very what you, lovely. What do you think so far? Yeah, we need we minutes. need um nota back. Please get nota back. <laughs> a lot of people are saying nota and when Len. I was watching nota. I was like, Lynn, did you see yourself there? <laughs> did you watch yourself, Lynn? <laughs> no, not yet. You know the Next thing is, time if known... Lynn cannot make it, please can we have nota? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When he when he's at work. Len, your stand double is Nota, ne? No, I was saying I've known Len and Nota uh, both like for a very long time, but it took me to watch that episode to realize, shit, they're the same people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, Len, Len uh, Nota is your stand double. I've been told. Oh, okay. I'm just glad people I are loving been. that episode, you know? And it's a pity that... Um, yeah. Uh, people can't use, you know, the school Wi-Fi or the work Wi-Fi. I think we'd have more views on, on that episode if that were the case. Now, whoever yeah. wants to hear it out can just go out to Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, uh, Spotify, whatever. Download it. It's, it's, it's smaller and the megabytes are not that big for you to download and listen to. It. So yeah. you can download the audio version of it as well. All right, love you oh, guys. Yeah, We've sure, got 30 sure. seconds left. What do you guys want to say? Oh, guys, let's just hold on. Nine days to go. And let's hope it's not going to be extended. Stay home. Yeah, and stay home. Cool, like you got? Yeah, no. Stay home. Wash your hands. Do the right thing. Uh, we're almost there, even though we might get extended, but we're almost there. Just stay home. There's a bigger goal to it. 
All right, cool. Yeah. You heard it. You heard it right here on Podcast and Chill. Don't forget to subscribe. Do comment. Do like if you're a subscriber. Uh, big shout out to our international subscribers, everybody that's tuned in. Uh, if you haven't seen the manager's episode, check it out. And yeah, we love you guys long time. Stay safe. We're out of here. Boom. Boom. Bye. Come say bye. Leave meeting. Leave meeting. <laughs> bye bye, <Leave> baby. <laughs> <laughs>